Good afternoon, students. Um, today, uh, I'm going to be explaining the topic about conjunctions. These are the four conjunctions that um, I'm going to be covering this week. Um, and, and is used to connect two related things or two related ideas. For example, I like burgers and chips, or I bought bread and jam. Two similar ideas, similarity, but links uh, to different ideas. Two, one is positive and the other is negative. For example, I like films, but I don't like plays. Or I like meat, but I don't like fish. So as we see, uh, but is connecting two sentences. One is affirmative and the second is negative. But it's not always like that. But normally, the sense of the sentence is uh, either one is positive and the other is negative. So, so um, gives a result of something, of an action. right? I was ill, so I went to the doctor. Right? Estaba enfermo, por ende, fui al doctor. So means por ende. I was hungry, so I cooked a curry. So it's always the result of the second sentence. So we connect the cause and then the effect of it. Because, because is used to give explanation or to give a reason to something. Uh, in this example, I went home because I was ill. It's given um, an explanation of why um, I went home. I ate my lunch because I was hungry. So it's also given a reason. I'm going to explain more. I'm going to give more examples about these ones. Uh, conjunctions. What is a conjunction? Conjunction is a word used to connect other words, phrases, and clauses together. The common ones that I'm going to be explaining, or I already introduced, you know, uh, something about them is, or are, and, but, or, so, and, because. Here, as I said, and is used to connect similar ideas. Similar ideas. Here, He's 10 and she's 12. We are talking about age, the same thing. Él tiene 10 y ella tiene 12. My mom and dad are teachers. Tim usually practices the piano and plays football on weekends. Here, as we, as we see here, um, we have the subject is Tim, but in the second, after the, after the conjunction, we don't use he or we don't use Tim, because we understand that we are talking about Tim, so it's not necessary to, to repeat the subject, because we're talking about, you know, similar ideas. But, but means aunque or Pero is used to connect two different ideas, different, and connect similar ideas, but connects different ideas. I love ice cream, but he loves apples. Two different ideas, different ideas. It's sunny and hot, but I like it. She's 40 years old talking about age, but she looks much younger than her real age. The first sentence, um, we are talking about that this um, lady is 40 years old, but she doesn't look that old in the second sentence. Or, is used to connect or to express choices. We're giving choices. Do you like apples or pears? Um, do you like football or badminton? 
two different options. Would you like tea or juice? So, it's used to link uh, or connect cause, reasons, or results, right? As I said before, he's hungry, so él tiene hambre, por ende, he gets some food, busca comida, un poco de comida, compra comida. The weather isn't very nice, so we don't go camping. He lost the key, so he couldn't get into his room. We are talking about a cost. What is the cost? He lost the key. And what is the result? He couldn't get into his room. Because... Because it's used to give reasons. You know, we always ask why. Then we, uh, we basically pushed the person to, to give us a, an explanation of, of, you know, of the first sentence. For example, here, she doesn't go to school. Why? Why didn't you? Why didn't she go to school? Because she's sick. Or, because it rains, I wear a raincoat. Raincoat. Normally, we put this before, but it's also acceptable if we start the sentence with, with because. It's not that usual, but it's not a grammatical mistake. Kate was happy because she won the competition. Or, Kate was happy because she won the lottery. Or... She was happy because she passed the test. So we are um, given, you know, an explanation of why the person is happy. This is basically it. It's pretty easy. You know, the use of the conjunctions. And, but, and so. And because here, here this is a practice. This is a practice that you have to send me through WhatsApp. You are gonna pick one of these two boxes. You don't have to pick two. You don't have to 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 make um, both of them. Only one. I'm asking you for one, either the purple one or the green one. Pick either of them. Once you solve this practice, once you fill this or complete these sentences with and so, but or because, please. Send the sentences um, completed um, on the WhatsApp group for discussion. This is just for discussion. This is just for clarification. If you have a doubt, you know, I can explain you over there on WhatsApp. Uh, please, once again, come pick one of these. Here are the here is the instruction. Please pick one of these boxes, either the purple one or the or or this one. Um, and uh, complete the sentences using the the conjunctions and so but and because. And then once you complete these, uh, send all the sentences. Um, on the WhatsApp group for discussion. If you have any question on this, please do not hesitate to drop me a line, to send me a message, and I'm going to be um, um, uh, glad to answer all of your concern in regards to this topic. All right? Take care. Bye-bye.